Well, my parents were uh, very big into classical music, especially my father used to play uh, uh, classical music uh, around uh, our bedtimes. I heard some at maybe a, a Friday night service, but I didn't pay that close attention to it until I had to uh, learn it for bar mitzvah. You know, in your bar mitzvah, you essentially at age 13 become a junior rabbi, uh, for one time anyway, because you conduct the service, which means I had to sing. The Friday night service melodies, which I consider the traditional melodic minor, uh, always caught my ear because I thought they had an intrinsic uh, beauty um, and a very uh, almost angelic quality, as well as uh, the, the traditional spiritual. And so I wasn't so much listening to the, uh, uh, the words as much as I was in my head imagining the melodies and the chords. And I took some of that to the piano when I would dabble around between piano lessons. Uh, but there it sat for probably a couple of decades uh, until I began to conceive of creating uh, an ensemble that would lift these melodies beyond uh, just maybe what I would hear in a religious service uh, or even a, a Jewish wedding uh, and, and construct uh, all these different parts and layers, uh, add vocals and essentially bring out uh, what I consider some of the hidden beauty uh, in the melodies. It would have been around uh, 2010 where I became uh, interested in actually doing something with an idea which uh, I had conceived of which entailed taking some of these melodies and uh, bringing them into the mainstream. And then a second time, and then, and then we come in with vocals. I found out my mom was uh, diagnosed with cancer and at the same time my father uh, was in the very early stages of uh, Alzheimer's. I knew a little bit about the, the concept of music therapy and Alzheimer's uh, disease in researching with regard to my father. However, I didn't really experience this until we performed at Wexner Heritage Village and I heard back from uh, the folks there after the concert that many of the residents were still singing and humming the melodies after we left. And that was the first inkling I had that this really is something important. We're playing at National Church Residences at Mill Run, and this is where my dad stayed uh, before he passed away earlier this year, and I brought my uncle, who's 95, from New York to be with my dad during those final months, and he's here in the audience, too. Very nice concert. I was singing along. <laughs> my parents liked music, and everybody in my family uh, played an instrument but me. And so I was always surrounded by some kind of music. Music um, really truly enriches our lives. It ties our, our memories um, into our long-term memory. We remember, you know, our, our first dance at our wedding, the songs we used to sing to our kids. Um, so all of that um, sensory connection just helps commit those memories to our long term. It's not about the performance, it's about bringing joy to folks and taking the music and making it portable. It's difficult, if not impossible, uh, as I would learn from my father's uh, extended care, you know, to go ever again to maybe a, a service or a wedding. So we can bring the music to uh, seniors, to memory care uh, residents. We played for about 50 Holocaust survivors and their families. That particular concert was especially emotional and there were a lot of tears, on, I think, on both sides. We actually have about 237 Holocaust survivors in Columbus. And they come from all over Europe and they speak many different languages um, from Russian, German, Hungarian, Romanian. So music really provides that unifying force. And then when you put in klezmer music, which is what Ben and his band Friday Night Live play, 
that is music from uh, this Yiddish and Hebrew music that they grew up with. So it brings back these pleasurable memories of a time before the war when they were with their families. I was born in Ukraine and it was time when nothing should be said about Jewish people. How they behave, tradition, all this stuff, it was forbidden. My grandfather had three passions in life, family, books, and music. And my dad inherited this from him. So that is my luck. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi It seems to me that it's changed person. Even if the person did not realize it, you know, because most music evoked my memories, only good stuff. It evoked the best in the, my life. Well, I think every time we perform the melodies, you know, you think of your parents because they knew, as well as anyone, the core of all these melodies far better than I did. They understood the cultural aspects of all these melodies. I specifically chose traditional versions of the melodies uh, that represents their generation to honor them. It's kind of a, uh, a thank you, I think, for all that we uh, experienced and what was handed down through my uh, grandparents and to my parents and things that can kind of drift away if you don't wrap your arms around them and kind of bring them back. I prefer and I think that everyone is more enjoyable is sitting in the hall surrounded by community and listen to live sound of music I was so touched and influ influenced by uh, this music that, you know, in one moment it's brought me back in time.